do love protein shakes. What's up guys, Lewis back with another video and today we're going to talk watermarks. So although it's not essential, why do you want a watermark on your picture? I need to address the fact that some of you go over the top man, like some of them are... <laughs> the watermark's so big it's like, this is my photography! <laughs> Just chill out, man. The, like the the logo doesn't have to be fifty percent of the picture. Just stop, stop it, stop doing it. <sighs> so frustrating. I don't get the reason behind some of them as well. Some of them are like so big. <laughs> it's like this is my picture. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my watermark now. So as you can see from my watermark, it's at the bottom of the screen and it's very subtle. It's just how it should be. It should be subtle. It's there, and obviously it's to show that it's your picture but just stop taking the mic. <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple of photographers that do watermarks correctly. So we've got my boy Jake, or known as uh, Enzo Works on Instagram. So as you can see from this picture, his watermark is very small, but you can you can make out what it says. It says Enzo. Um, his logo you, did used to be really big, but he obviously dressed it, and so did mine. Like I went back to my old pictures, and my logo was a little bit too big. <laughs> so I understand, like we've all been there, we've been to that that starting beginner stage where you're like, oh yeah, I want this to be my logo. And then you realize that your logo is way too big. <laughs> Next we've got Piecing Works from London. Absolute sick photographer again. Unless I point it out, you're probably not even gonna see it, but you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's got his logo. It's just six letters and that's that's his. It's subtle, but it's it's there. So next we've got Jake Ward photo and his, his logo is really good. It could be a tad smaller, but it's still sick. But that's kind of like the limit of how big your logo should be at the bottom. Um, you could probably bring down the opacity to like 50% and it'd probably look a bit more subtle. Uh, next you've got Robin. Again, this guy is like a sick photographer. All these photographers are just sick anyway. It's a good thing to appreciate other photographers' work because a lot of people forget to do that. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. If you can't appreciate other people's work, you're not going to progress personally. So I believe that um, quite strongly as well. And his logo is literally just two letters. It looks sick, like that's his that's his logo. It's subtle and again it's at the bottom of the screen. Next we've got it's PBX. I'm pretty, pretty sure everyone that's watching this video follows this guy. <laughs> like, he does some sick pictures. And his is pretty sick because it's spaced out, it's subtle and it's at the bottom of the screen. But it's not taking over the image, it's not, do you know what I mean? But that picture, that GTI is absolutely sick. <laughs> Look at the likes as well, 4700. That picture banged. <laughs> and then you've got photographers like Nathan or R23. Again, if you're watching this video, you already know who he is. Um, absolute sound guy. With Nathan, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't need a watermark. You can already tell it's his pictures. <laughs> Again, not everyone needs watermarks like Nathan. It does, it's not important, it's just, I'm just addressing the photographers that do have watermarks and how to improve them, um, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna jump into Lightroom, I'm gonna show you how to apply your watermark onto your Lightroom pictures and how to make sure that they are applied to every export that you do from Lightroom. I'm not gonna show you in Photoshop how to make a logo, you should be able to do that yourself, but I'm gonna show you how to apply it and tips that I use to make mine look more subtle, if that makes sense, so let's do that. Jeez, tricep coming out. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, yeah, so you've got your picture, you want to export it. Um, I'm going to show you my export settings as well. Um, Shift Command E or just export. You're going to obviously find your location that you want to take your picture to. Um, a good tip as well if you're posting on Instagram is to limit your file size to 3 megabytes. The reason being, Instagram compresses the out of your pictures if you give Instagram a smaller file to work with it uploads faster and it it doesn't like compress your image too much so yeah so you've got your watermark you're gonna go down to where it says watermarkings click edit watermarks and then mine's already on here but for example if you want to upload yours <coughs> you go to choose on graphics so instead of it saying text you're gonna go on graphic choose find your logo it should be make sure it's a PNG file so you've exported from Photoshop as a PNG. And then once that's there, the default settings are gonna be like 100%. So don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> that's literally the size of some of them. <laughs> Imagine, I might just post that. I might just literally post that and see what happens. No, I don't do that. I normally go for like five, but it might vary for you. 
but you want to bring the opacity, opacity to down to at least like 60%, it's not over the top. Make sure the anchor point here is at the bottom, so you don't want it in the middle, and then vertical. So you want it right at the bottom. You can lift it off the edge a little bit if you want. And that's it, you pretty much go to this little file here, the little tab here, press save current as new preset. Yeah, man. Um, and that's it, it'll be saved there. So you've got different presets. You literally just press done, watermark's there, make sure the blue tick's there, yeah, man and export <laughs> wait for it once it's exported have a look at your image boom and it's in 4x5 ready for instagram and it's literally that easy so there's just a quick little video to kind of have a mini rant <laughs> about watermarks and just to address the facts that you don't always you don't have to have a watermark but yeah that's it also, we're like, I think I think we're at 1,800 subscribers. No, 1,848 subscribers. So we're nearly at 2K. We're getting there. We're building the channel very slowly, but I'm going to try and do more videos. So yeah, make sure you click like and subscribe. It always helps more than you think. Oh, and I've got presets on my store. Link in the description. So got to do that little plug. Um, yeah, hope you, enjoy, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. You can go now. Bye-bye. <laughs>